Hi, today we're making one of our favorite cakes. This is a Southern American favorite recipe. The cake consists of three delicious, moist, and sweet layers covered with vanilla cream cheese frosting. The cake is bound to make you hum with delight. We're making the hummingbird cake. Here's a look at the ingredients. We begin by sifting the flour, baking soda, and salt into a large bowl. Add the sugar and ground cinnamon. Stir well with a wire whisk or fork. Now add the wet ingredients into the dry. Start by adding the lightly beaten eggs and oil, stirring until the flour is moist, but do not beat. Next, add the pineapple, vanilla extract, banana, and nuts. Use a spatula to fold in the ingredients from the bottom of the bowl. Make sure there is no dry flour left, but do not beat. This makes a very thick batter. You can use the juice from fresh or canned pineapple to aid in mixing if needed. Just a couple of tablespoons, no more. Spoon the batter into three greased and floured cake pans that have been lined with parchment paper. I'm using three 9-inch cake pans. Bake for 25 to 30 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. While the cake is being baked, we can make the cream cheese vanilla frosting. Add the softened cream cheese and butter to a stand mixer. You can use a mixer or a handheld beater. Beat till nice and smooth without any lumps. Use a spatula to fold in the powdered sugar. This is so you don't have sugar dust flying everywhere when you turn on the beater. Now continue to beat, adding vanilla extract till the frosting is light, smooth and fluffy. Chill till it's time to frost your cake. This yields enough frosting for a three-layered cake.
cool the baked cakes in their pans for 10 minutes. Then invert, removing the parchment paper onto wire racks to cool completely. I'm using a Lazy Susan to help me frost my cake. I place a cake board over the top. Place four strips of parchment paper along the sides. This way you can pull out the paper easily after frosting without making a mess. Place the first layer on top of the paper. I'm using the bottom of the cake to get a more flat finish. Spread frosting in between the layers on top and on the sides of the cake. I frosted the first layer and put the second layer of cake on top. I use a flat spatula to help me line the sides of the cake with the chopped nuts. Since I couldn't find pecans today, I cut up some Ferrero Rocher chocolates to decorate the top of the cake. Chill well before serving. This cake tastes best slightly chilled. The cake keeps well for up to three days, covered tightly in the refrigerator. A glorious cake indeed, the hummingbird cake. We hope you try the recipe. Enjoy and thanks for watching.